Good morning everyone. Good morning. So today we're docked up in Rotterdam. We did actually come to Rotterdam last year when we did a different cruise, but we didn't visit Rotterdam, we got the coach into Amsterdam. Yeah. So it's the first for us to explore and actually stay here yeah. today. So we're just gonna get off the ship, mm -hmm. have a look around. There's a big food market. What's that called? Mark Fall. Mark Marked fall. Marked fall. Marked We're gonna fall. It basically means these. mark it all. Yeah. It looks absolutely incredible. Yeah. Even just like the building alone from the pictures I've seen just looks, I oh, will bring you along, but it looks absolutely yeah. amazing. Then there's like <laughs> these cube houses. Yeah. Um, we might, if we've got time, try and do like a river cruise. Yes. A tour on there. But we have to cross this bridge. I'm not going to pronounce it. It's nicknamed the Swan. So <laughs> we're going to just explain like a port day video, you know, we're going to take you around Rotterdam mm -hmm. as if you were coming on the cruise. I think it's about a half an hour walk to like the market hall. You could get yeah. a taxi, there's plenty of taxis outside, mm -hmm. but yes. we're just going to walk it and just see where the day takes us. There'll be food. Oh, there's going to be food. Right, so when you come out of the cruise port, you will go left for the bridge and the city centre. So it's pretty much just a walk to the end, and then a, you'll, you won't miss it, it's on the left at the end of these apartments. There's the cruise terminal where we just walked out, and just there you'll see a line of taxis. That's where you get it from, straight outside the terminal, or I guess you could order an Uber from wherever you want if you want to get picked up somewhere else. Yeah, so there's the, I'm gonna butcher this, but this is how Google says it. Erasmusbrug. In a minute, I'll say how Google says it. Erasmusbrug. Go on, Stacey, you try it. Erasmusbrug. Yeah, well, Stacey won't attempt to pronounce any more names today. We think you can only have one ship in Rotterdam at a time, because this is the only port that we can see. I have Googled it and it says this is it. Uh, that's our ship there. We are on the P&O Britannia. So like I say, that's where you will dock up and the city is just there. So it does seem like there's plenty of different river cruise companies. This one, I think it's Speedo, Spido, seems to have a few uh, boats there. There's also this boat here, the DHG. It looks like a little river taxi, because it does say taxi above where it's yellow. I saw that yesterday. So uh, that might be an option if you don't want to catch the bridge and you don't want to catch a taxi. You can always try and see if you can get a one of the little river taxis across somewhere. Does it take anybody else ages when you first get off the ship? Because just keep stopping and like taking pictures of the ship. Because in, in some places where you get off, you just get like great shots and then some not so much. So it's a nice one here from the bridge. So like I've got my camera out and I've took loads of pictures of the ship. So I'll just point out quickly, we won't be going up. I don't think we'll have time. Plus the weather's not give the best this afternoon. That is the Euromast Tower. You can actually go up, uh, it's got a 360 degree view of the city. So if you're interested in taking some photos of the Rotterdam skyline, you could go there. I, I don't think it's too much, just over maybe 10 euros, 10, 12 euros maybe. But uh, I think there is a restaurant up there as well, obviously that'll be extra. But Stacey's just asked me, does it go up anymore and does it turn? So the answer is no, it doesn't <laughs> turn. Looks like you get up, you go in a lift up to the top and then I thought it was one where it slowly goes up and then like you turn, but no, you go in a lift. We've just realised, bridge is over there, you can get a train from here to Amsterdam, but the train station is the other end of the city, the main train station, so what you'd be better off doing is, one isn't actually coming past now, you can get a tram across from uh, the port side to the train station, so if you were looking at going to Amsterdam, it'd probably be a, an option instead of get, catching the excursion with like say P&O or- your ship company. Yes. Yeah, it probably works out a little bit cheaper, but you'd have to research it. So it's actually a Monday here today in the Netherlands. It's a uh, Monday everywhere today. Well, it could actually be Sunday somewhere, Kev, depending on the time difference. Oh yeah, you. it's still quite <laughs> early, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, but it's also a bank holiday, that's what I was going to say. And it's about 9.40 now in the morning. And the main food, mar food market that we're going to go and like the main shops aren't open till 11 a.m. with it being a bank holiday. So we're going to go try find a Starbucks or something. Kev's Google mapped one. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit chilly, so we're just going to try and sit in there maybe because nothing's open. Like there is 
a shopping centre, there's Primark, you know, if you want to go clothes shopping or whatever, there's Zara's and stuff like that. We normally always collect the Starbucks mugs, but we got one when we last came to the Netherlands. We got one when we went to Amsterdam, so it feels a bit strange this time. We haven't got to no. rush around and try and find one. Right, so we've got Starbucks. We're just going to drink these while we wait for stuff open. I think we're going to go to the cube houses first, and then that is quite close to the food market, so like two birds, one stone, and then have a look at doing a river cruise after Stacey's probably done some shopping, but you don't need to see that, do you really? Right, so we're just here at the cube houses now. It's next to the market, and then you know when you're in the Netherlands. Look at all these bags. They're absolutely everywhere. Never seen so many bags, apart from Amsterdam. <laughs> yes, there was loads in Amsterdam. Right, so how cool are these cube houses? So they were designed by an architect called Piet Blom. I hope I'm saying that right. And they are actually real residential houses. And I believe because they're so like unique looking and obviously they were gaining a lot of interest from tourists, I think one person actually brought one of the houses and opened it up as like a tourist attraction so that you could you could go inside and have a look. I think that's what we're gonna try and do. Yeah, I'm just having a, a look around. I don't know where you go in. <laughs> Maybe it's up them stairs. There's a lot of people up them stairs over there. So we will find it and tell you where you have to go because we haven't got a clue. And I've just had a quick look and I believe that he designed them like this to try and maximize space or something inside. So it's gonna be interesting to get in there and have a look and see. I can't see how that would work, but he's the architect, so he must know right. So we've just seen the sign at the side of the steps that we're th to the left of Stacy Show Cube. There's more at the back, it's not just the ones at the front, so let's go up these steps. Oh, so we've just noticed there is one for sale. Stacy's just Googled this, and it does say for sale, so we wonder how much these will be. I'm taking a picture of the for sale sign, and then when we get home, I'm going to Google this to see how much they're going for. Dragon milk? I don't know. No, because it's only a cube. The funky though, aren't they? Yeah. You're in Rotterdam. I don't know. I, I couldn't guess, honestly. I'm going to have a look when we get home. I mean, it's got to be annoying, aren't it? All those pesky tourists coming around, making noise in your square when you're living here. But if you look like, it's weird because you're looking, it's almost as if they're looking down at us. Yeah. Unless that's just because the end. The, angle, the windows are angled in, it just looks weird. Are I don't we, know. Are we looking up at them or are they looking down at us? Oh, Stacey's getting all philosophical on us now. Right, so there's just some stairs that you have to go up and it's three euros each to get in. And these stairs are very steep. <laughs> you did say you can pay by card. Yes. So this is the windows, what we're on about. So we are overlooking like the courtyard. It's really, it's like a weird sensation to look out of an angled window down at people like this. How much would a window cleaner want for cleaning these oh. windows? Could you imagine? They'd have to come on like a... Uh, half a day. They'd have to come down on like ropes and hang off the side of the building and stuff. <laughs> like Mission Impossible yeah. or something, clean the windows. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, You'd have to have blinds up for a start, wouldn't yes. you? Yeah. But we've got two floors up, yeah. Could you imagine the blinds though? Like, the, like obviously, it'd have the to like fit them, to measure. It'd have to be like them Velux ones that are built in, where they come down. Yeah, but that's a cheap eye. No, but we've got two floors to go up yet. So let's walk up more steep steps. So this is like what the actual kitchens look like in the other houses. So if you had a soda stream, and uh, that's a bit retro. But yeah, it's like washing your dishes and getting a view of the tram at a weird angle. Funky. Make sure you hold the handrail because it is small steps. And if you've got big feet, you'll probably trip up like me. Oh, that's so weird. The angled walls make it feel so, like the spaces are so tight. <gasps> Ooh. Can I have these days? So here's your bed. That's what, even the radiator is angled. That's so weird. And then this is the top level now. But oh, this is where all your windows are. Jeez. I mean, you do get good views from the top. Going around, oh, that's the other ones from the top as well. 
So yeah, it would be hard cleaning these windows right at the top. I'm saving it now, letting it out to TV companies out there. You could do like a modern day Friends. It'd be really Wouldn't hard. What for the camera crew, like yeah. going down the yeah. steps and stuff. I couldn't live here just because we're on the steps. Imagine being up here now and you're like, damn, I need to go down to the kitchen. You've got to go down like all them stairs. If you can make it out, we walk past this office downstairs so you can see out of this window through that window. It's like some kind of weird optical illusion. So you haven't got to go all the way down from the top, get a drink, you can just be like, get me a drink. And they can go get you one then. It's only three euros. It's worth a visit. It's like a funky, weird little Yeah, I'm place. not sure I could live in one myself, no. but you know, they're very, yeah, they're very unique. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you've got big feet, it's going to take you a while getting up and down them narrow little steps. Now, we've just been in as soon as it opened really yeah. and even then as you can see I'm not, I don't know if they were limiting the numbers going in or out there was quite a few in there so of course there's no system going up and down the no. stairs so you've literally just got to go when the stairs are free which you could end up waiting and a there was bit. loads of people just queuing outside weren't there yeah so maybe it, I know it depends it's, it's an holiday today but mm -hmm. try get here as soon as it opens I mean it's worth it because looking from the outside you just you just don't know what to expect really no. and yeah you could say we've been in a cube house in yeah. Rotterdam now anyway oh and I did ask the the guy at like the place where you paid just if there was more levels below he said there was a little bit of storage it, it didn't go further down so these windows aren't more to the house itself right so we literally like we said before here's the market it's literally across the road from the cube houses so you can do a two for one now if you look at the building all these windows going around are uh, apartments there might be some offices in there as well but uh, yeah it's a gorgeous building and there's a massive mural inside as well yeah i was gonna say you can see like some of the artwork now on the ceiling but it's so uh, we looked at pictures before we came of it and it's so much bigger now you're in yeah person. it's huge and it's i think it's probably the nicest market we've ever been to anyway <laughs> so as you walk in you see this striking mural there it's all like fruits and insects and stuff, but there is about a hundred stalls and restaurants in here serving all different goodies. Uh, there's bars, like I say, there's, there's a TGI somewhere, so there's some proper like sit down restaurants as well. There's oh, everything. So, oh, I think we're gonna have a field day in here. Yeah. Right, so we've only been here a second and I was, we were just walking past getting some shots and this uh, lovely guy's just offered us some looks like a baklava it looks all like turkey streets oh, it's got pistachios and i love pistachios mm, normally these are a little bit too sweet for me because they soak them in the sugar syrup that's really nice because there's lots of nuts in oh might have to get some of that back take back on the cruise ship it's sticking in retief now so like kev said at the beginning he's got a few chains like your tgi fridays but you're not gonna really want to eat there are you when you've got all these like individual stores i don't think i've ever seen kev's eyes so wide <laughs> i love it in here and, and stop drooling i know i know the beard hides a bit of it so i'm okay so we just popped in this supermarket in here. They've got a massive Asian supermarket that does all the sauces and the noodles and like everything to cook with it and the fresh fruit and veg. It sounds silly, but there's a Filipino member of staff that we got chatting to on the cruise ship and he was just really, really nice. And he was saying how we missed some like home foods. And in particular, they have like a banana ketchup. So we're trying to see if they um, sell it and then we're going to buy him one, aren't we? If to go and give him if you've got one, yeah. Right, so we did ask, they don't sell any. So unfortunately, we can't buy some. I would have bought a bottle for myself as well. But anyway, let's get on to some eating. So we've made the first food purchase. It smells absolutely delicious. We're going to grab something else and then we'll go and buy show you what we've had. Yeah. So it is busy in there. There's a little, you do have to wait a little bit for the food and there is no seating anywhere in there. Each, each individual place has got like the odd stool or something like that or a little counter where you stand up. But as you could imagine, that's soon filling up. So we've had to come outside. So we've gone for, we've had three bao buns. Now you could have them steamed or fried. We went with fried. 
and we said that because so they don't stick together in the tray but that's what we tell ourselves anyway and it's a mix of beef chicken and veg one of so, each one of each yeah so i don't know which which one's which so i'm just gonna go with this one here he goes so stacy's gonna try the free like fried brow buns we had and i think the three of them cost about between five and a half and six euros for the three of them. Me and Kev, we love our bao buns, don't we? Yes. So this is just absolutely delicious. Don't think we've ever had a fried one before. No, we normally we just normally get just steamed. We normally just have it steamed. I actually prefer eat fried. I knew that. <laughs> what I try to say. Yeah, so because it's fried, it's got like a nice crispy top to it, but the bun itself is still really, really soft. Yeah, it's just really tasty. The chicken is like minced up a little bit. Now, there was sauces and things that if you sat there, you can add to it, but because we had to go get other things, we didn't want them to go soggy. Uh, I love sweet chilli sauce, but when you're trying something for like the first time, you just don't want to ruin it with like sauces and things like that, do you? But now I've had a bite, I'd, I'd have another piece with like the sweet chilli sauce on top. That'd be nice. I'll try the sweet one. It's like a black one. I think it was a pumpkin one. Doesn't smell of anything. Oh, so that's like really different. If you just were given it and you taste it with your eyes closed, you'd think it was um, like a custard, not like a pumpkin. And because this is steamed, it's nice and soft. And this was about one euro fifty. Uh, it was hard to remember because they were all like on sale. I think they had a, a bank holiday sale on. But yeah, I was going to say nice. a lot of the food stores have a a screen where you order from. You don't have to. No, it's all card. I'm guessing you could pay in cash or I didn't I'm not, see didn't everybody. See everyone was using the machines. They're and all different, the card. but if yeah. you see a screen, just go up and uh, just pay on card. You just get screen. given a ticket number and wait for your number or your name to be called yes. out. Right, so I'm now going to burn every inch of my mouth with this monstrosity. We had to have the potato one. So I said we had to have the potato one. <laughs> so this is a potato corn dog. We had one of these in New York. And I've got to say, this has got a hell of a lot more potato on it than that one did. It was not as big as that. Oh, God. Oh, I like that. Now, this probably does need sauce, would you say? Oh, that does need sauce. And it, it's got no salt on, though, either. Oh, has it not? No, it's got no salt oh, on. Oh, see, I'd like a little bit of salt on I was the potatoes. I wasn't sure because some of them put um, sugar on. Can you remember? We had to ask yeah. them for no sugar. But yeah, Stacey would need sauce and salt on this. Yeah, so it's just a normal, like a Frankfurt, a hot dog kind of thing. See, is that salty though, the hot dog? Because maybe that's why you then wouldn't have salt on the potatoes. I mean, I'm not a salt fan. I'd still think it needs salt. Really? Yeah. So if you say it needs salt, it definitely must do. Yeah. But this was seven euros and it's a, it's a meal in itself. <laughs> Right, so we've gone a little bit Greek now. Well, Greek and Turkish because we've got some Greek food, but we're currently sat at a Turkish restaurant because Kev's ordered something. You didn't really fancy anything from the Greek place, did no, you? No, I found something a little bit different. Yeah, so we've we managed to get a seat anyway. There's plenty of seats here. So I've gone for a Greek chicken pie and it looks absolutely delicious. It's in like a phyllo pastry and I'm Stacey and I love pies. The pastry's nice, but that's all I've managed to bite so far. I can see like the chicken poking out there. Oh no, I don't like the cheese. I don't know what cheese. I'm gonna have to get Kev to taste that in a man. It was chicken and cheese. Yeah, but you said cheese not feta because it said feta for when it was feta, and you said cheese for this. I'll go in for another bite and go. On. Here we go. Oh no. I was really looking forward to me pie and I don't like it. I'll try it, give it to you. Oh, it just tastes like normal cheese. It doesn't. That tastes it's like got, normal cheese. I know what normal cheese tastes like. It's got like a weird taste to it. Is it like goat's cheese or no, something? No, it just tastes like cheese. It's not cheddar cheese. It just tastes like mozzarella cheese. It doesn't. Dog. He's lying, it I'm doesn't. Not. Well, well, she's going to tell me, I had a little feta pie. Because I love feta. So, we'll see what feta tastes like. See, that's feta cheese, because that is white. Now, if you look at this one, this one's like a normal chicken and cheese, whereas this one's white. This is definitely not, this is definitely not feta. I don't look, I like the look of this one either. Well, you had a big enough bite. That's not as bad. You don't like feta. Do you know what? 
there was a fish and chip stall at the beginning when I come in. I should have just gone there. Right, so now she's finished moaning about the cheese. We're going to eat the Turkish now. So this is a chicken pide. It looks like minced up chicken with some peppers in there and stuff. But it's on like this really thin, crispy bread. I, I remember having this at a hotel in Turkey. It wasn't a chicken one, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I really want this. It's red hot though. It's that nice, like, cracker-like, toasty bread. And you can't moan at this. <laughs> You'll like this one because it's chicken and it just tastes like chicken and peppers but it's just like cracker paper thin bread that snaps in your mouth. Maybe it could do with a bit of sauce. So I guess it's kind of ironic. I'm here in the Netherlands which is famous for its cheese and I'm sat here complaining about a cheese that was in my pie. But that's just me. I'm completely fussy when I come to cheese or our cab. Yeah. He's nodding very like this behind there. So yeah, I'm going to try this now. I'm please like this. Yeah, so that's really nice. Like Kev said, the bread's just like so thin and crispy. The chicken's nice, the veg is nice. I really like this. Thank goodness, eh? We're all done in the market now. Absolutely gutted because when we were walking around earlier <laughs> and I did get him doing it, they did these little balls they were called like dragon breath. You really want to try one, didn't It's like you? where they look like little, I don't know what they are, like maybe like a crunchy cereal ball or something, but they put them in liquid nitrogen and I saw him tossing around, I'll put a clip yeah. on now. And then you eat them and you breathe out and it's like smoke. It's like a gimmick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I just thought it was something cool for the video, but these clothes, I think he maybe ran out of liquid nitrogen. Yeah, it's just got, it's like the shutters were down and sold out. And we were wandering around looking, like, where was he? Yeah. He was definitely up here. And I joked and I said, oh, but he's like shut, closed down now or something. And we got there and there he is with the sign, yeah. She closed. Jinxed it. She <laughs> I jinxed, jinxed it. it, I did. Oh. Never mind, eh? <laughs> so we are very full after all that food. So we're just going to have a little mooch around some of the shops mm -hmm. and then we're going to try and get one of these water taxis because somebody we uh, bumped into off the ship yeah. told us to get one because they're really good so we're going to try and do that instead of the river cruise just a more like laid back casual one yeah but i was going to say we'll walk around first the shops a little bit because we're just full after all that because the water taxis like you said they it, pick up speed it's so. on a red boat kind yeah. of thing so mm. they, they go quite quick they said and they bank around so it sounds fun so we'll see you from the river anyway on on something like a paddle board it's raining we've uh, booked a water taxi on the app i will show you once we're on here we just want to get on because there's only one umbrella <laughs> and stacy's hogging that one so we're going to jump on this little taxi now and i'll i'll show you what you do on the app and stuff right okay so you download the water taxi app i just googled uh, rotterdam water taxis and it came up like this and then you select there's all these little ports i've confirmed this booking so it's still on at the moment there's all these little ports you find the closest one select that and then you find where you want to go so this is close to the cruise ship and then this has cost us nine euros for the both of us depending where you are in rotterdam there's different zones uh, it's all explained on the app it's very easy and i've just paid on the app so yeah nine euros and it says it's going to take 10 minutes to get there so hopefully it's quick because that wasn't our taxi it was at a wrong spot we're just like there you go you can see there's the taxi and we're now just here so hopefully it comes very quickly hey thank you all That was crazy, so bumpy, but it, it was really good. It was a better way to get back, especially in this rain. Yeah, he said he's walking across the bridge. He did say 10 minutes, but it was more like five. Yeah, if Yeah, that. it wasn't 10 minutes. No, it was really good, like I say, 4.50 each. I'm not sure how much it was for kids, probably less. I'm guessing less, it normally is less for kids. Definitely worth 
And like I say, <laughs> you can pretty much get, I think he said there was 50 points you could get them from. And it's dropped us off just behind us here, and the ship is literally around this corner. Yeah, the crew, we only got water around the corner, the crew's terminals there, but I think we've got a bit of a whiplash. I know. Wasn't expecting he picked up speed then. Maybe it like another boat. Um, wake, wake or something. Wake or something, <laughs> yeah. But it was like, woof, okay. Right, this umbrella's not big enough for the both of us. Let's just get in this terminal. Okay. We're getting very wetty. So we're back on the ship now. Dry. <laughs> Had a great time in Rotterdam. Like I said at the beginning, we messed this out last time because we went to Amsterdam instead. Yes. So I'm glad we actually got off and explored. We got to explore Rotterdam instead. Yeah, so I really, I really liked, liked it. it. I, I prefer Rotterdam than Amsterdam. I mean, I wouldn't. Me too. Yeah. I wouldn't not go on another cruise if it stopped in Amsterdam. No, just. Personally, yeah. yeah. Personal preference. I thought it was a nicer, brighter, better city. I mean, yes. I know Amsterdam's got the the canals and all that mm. kind of and the culture, but we didn't have the big food market. No, <laughs> that food market was great. Go hungry. Yes. And uh, make sure you got plenty of money because it's not cheap. No. Because the amount of food we brought, it wasn't cheap anyway. But if you're if you're a massive foodie like us, yeah, I highly recommend. Yes, There's so many, like you say, Greek. Oh, it was everything. Ignore the cheese. That's just my it's not wrong weird with that personal cheese. preference. That cheese was fine. It tasted weird, actually. Didn't. It was fine. Just like so many yeah. foods to try, even fish and chips, if yeah. you want a, a taste of home. I did see plenty of people. I'm guessing it must be a local, like a, a Dutch thing, like a herring sandwich. I saw quite a few people like mm, buying these herring yeah. sandwiches. So, yeah, I like fish, but <laughs> not my cup of tea. Uh, while you're there as well, go across and check out them cube houses for three yeah. euros each it's worth the experience you know for 10 minutes or whatever and let us know what you think in the comments below would you like to live in one personally no but no. I, I did like them i thought they were really cool we did bump into somebody actually uh we spotted on the ship yeah. we were talking to and they reckon they saw one for sale and it was about one hundred eighty thousand euros that's me i think i said something like oh i bet they're a million pounds and i don't know it's only a q so yeah, yeah 180k <laughs> um, yeah if you got a spare 180k there you go i don't know if it's a good investment or not but yeah, that's it. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment if you've been to Rotterdam. Did you go to the Euromast? What did you think of that? Did you think it was worth the... We mm. didn't get time to go down that way. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. And did you go on the crazy taxis? Taxi <laughs> boats? Because they were good as well. Oh, did you have a nice river cruise relaxing down the river? Yeah. And didn't end up with whiplash like us. <laughs> we'll be like this tonight now when yeah. we're going to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, that's always. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.